So they stepped up, risked their lives, risked their safety on behalf of the city of Chicago, and now they're getting stabbed in the back by the uh, city of Chicago, the police officer, with these vaccine man mandates. This is untenable. And it's happening uh, in, in several major cities, uh, this mandate for uh, first responders, essentially. Uh, but there is one. You mentioned colder weather. There's a warmer state that is um, taking a different stance. Uh, Florida looking to recruit officers who are out of a job because of the mandates. Check out this headline. The Washington Examiner here. DeSantis offers police $5,000 bonus to relocate to Florida amid vaccine mandates. Um, this is, again, um, another reason that many people want to flock to Florida. Now the governor saying, hey, look, we'll pay you. If you're out of a job, those 21 folks that are out of a job could potentially get a bonus. Your thoughts on this? Uh, look, God bless Governor DeSantis, who likes to stay ahead of the curve on these things. Good for him. Um, if I were a law enforcement officer serving today, I'd say, where do I sign up for that? Look, the quality of life is better in Florida than some of these other states like Wisconsin and uh, Illinois, where it's cold half the, half the year. Also, they do not have a state income tax. So the state of Florida is opening their arms to, uh, you know, with open arms, they're trying to recruit law enforcement officers from across the country. The real value in this, they're already trained, all right? It's just a minimal amount of training to bring them up to Florida standards, but they're already fully trained and they're licensed in many of these states anyway, and that can be... Uh, uh, retroactive in, in hiring them. So good for DeSantis. You know, that that was uh, something I brought up last week on the show is you're <clears throat> you're not just letting these folks are trained and you've you've paid to train them. You're you're losing in this way. Um, wouldn't there be other options, testing options, et cetera? And we're only talking about the state level. But from a federal perspective, President Biden uh, had this to say about vaccine mandates for law enforcement and first responders. Here's that. Should police officers, emergency responders, be mandated to get vaccines? And if not, should they be stay at home or let go? Yes and yes. I waited until uh, July to talk about mandating because I tried everything else possible. The mandates are working. The two things that concern me, one are those who just try to make this a political issue, freedom. I have the freedom to kill you with my COVID. No, I mean, come on, freedom. Town Hall, that did not sit well with many Americans. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.